I basically had, I was being filled with negative thoughts through my pregnancy. Um, I had lots of people telling me that the baby was going to be too big for me. My mom had big babies, um, my partner's mom had had big babies, so it was going to be a big baby and I was too small. There was no way I was going to be able to birth this baby. So I had all those negative thoughts in my head and I was scared that how it was going to go. So I thought, I said to my partner, I need to find something that will make me more confident in this birth and help me get through it. So I, um, I actually randomly found um, a Wise Hippo course on Facebook. Um, it was an introduction course. So I said to my partner, will you just come with me? There's no cost, but just go, get an introduction, see if it'll be for us. And he'd go, no, 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 it's not, it's not gonna be for you. Do you really want me whispering in your ear while you're in pain? <laughs> and I said, well, um, I said, can, we just, can you just try it for me? So we went and I knew immediately it was going to work for me. So I spoke to Jane, my amazing instructor, and I was 37 weeks at the time, so we didn't have a lot of time. So Jane, um, just I'm so appreciative, she managed to get a course together for me. She let me bring my mum along, because my mum's going to be my second birth partner. Um, and my two birth partners were there, we did the course, we all went it, into it quite sceptical. I think you were probably the most sceptical because mm -hmm. you hadn't done the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> Mam did say to me that she might even tell Jane what she actually thought, that it was going to be a lot of rubbish. <laughs> I had had three babies myself and they were, um, I had a cesarean section, then I had a natural birth and then I had the epidural. So I thought, they're the only three ways that it can go. I didn't think it, it could be, not easier, but simpler, a little bit simpler. And um, so I said to April, I'll go. But she said, if you want to be there with me, you've got to do the course with me, basically. So, so she wanted, I went. So <laughs> she came. Um, and Jane, oh, Jane left us at the end of that course. And the three of us looked at each other and we said, we're gonna, we're gonna use this and this is, yeah. this is gonna work. Um, and we all just felt so empowered. They felt empowered they were gonna be able to help me more. And I felt empowered that I could do it. And whether they were there or not, I was gonna be able to do it. <laughs> and it all <laughs> made sense. Yeah, everything, everything is so um, basic. So it's things that you already know in life that you just don't realize help you in, in your birth. Um, so it's things that are just brought into every every day you use them, but when they're actually drawn to your attention that you can use them during your birth, yeah. it, it just it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, bless, bless you. <laughs> I started um, feeling sensations on the early Sunday morning, um, oh. so I decided just to go out shopping and went to Argos, picked yeah. out a shoe rack, and mum was going, there's no Did way. Did squats. Was, yeah, I was doing my squats. <laughs> mum said, there's no way, this is, there's no way the baby's coming, because I, I couldn't have walked around the shops when my babies were coming, so there's no way. And I'd stop every now and then, and just breathe through it, and I was going, no, it must just be something else. Um, Sunday night came, and we watched uh, David Attenborough on the telly, and chilled out. Um, then I slept through, um, I listened to my MP3, Sunday night going to bed, slept through Sunday, woke up every now and then with my sensations. And Monday morning, um, they, were, they were starting to get stronger, and, Mum said to me, okay, you know, you've had these for quite a while now, um, I think we should call the midwife, but I didn't think that I'd had them for that long. I thought it had just been a few minutes <laughs> that I'd been having them, but Mum's going to know, it's like two hours now you've been feeling these. So um, we rang the midwife, we went to the hospital, we got there at 11 o'clock, um, and 4 o'clock came, and I said, I was kind of going, are you, are you just going to have lunch, or... What are you going to do? They'd already had lunch, they'd had their coffees, they'd had their breakfast, they'd <laughs> done everything through the day. I was just in such a trance and in my own zone, I didn't even realise what they were doing around me. Um, so I I listened to the music um, with the woman next to me making lots of noise <laughs> in obviously not dealing with her birth the same way that I was. Um, but mum just turned up the music <laughs> and it calmed me down, so I got into the pool after 
after about three hours in the hospital, I got into the pool, still nice and calm. The room was very quiet. Um, my midwife was amazing. I felt like the baby's head was close to coming, but the midwife was a little bit worried because I was starting to get dehydrated in the pool and he was uh, getting a little bit distressed. So um, I didn't want it, but I was brought to the consultant-led unit. Yeah. I was the only calm one that thought, I can do this. Um, so I looked at my partner and he looked at me and he, we knew together that we knew the decision we'd made that we weren't going to quite listen to the doctor just yet. <laughs> um, so we made that decision and out he came probably about five minutes, <laughs> not even five minutes later. Big boy. Um, happy, eight pounds, 13, um, little baby and he just came out, looked up at me, not just, just happy to just be there just and come out calmly and he's been calm ever since. Eventually see us and he has been a little gem of a baby. Very calm baby. Yeah. So it is just about having an open mind and saying, let's just go to the course, we can do it and this will it will work for us. They it might be a bit of a struggle for you to get your partner to come along, but it's it's worth it at the end of the day. If you want to be supportive to your partner, just go along and and Give it a shot. Give, yeah. yeah. It's it's it will work. Um and he's just he's just um, proof of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got two friends at the moment who are pregnant and I'm so excited for them and what their birth is bringing and they keep going, oh, I'm just so petrified, is it gonna be sore? Is it gonna be this? And I'm just I'm so excited yeah. for what you're gonna experience and I think I'm the only person that's probably saying that to them. And every time I think of my next birth, it excites me. And there's not many people that would be excited about no. the birth of the baby. So I definitely put that down for the wife as well.